morning guys it's 10 past six on payday morning and i'm in the car ready to go although i look a bit crap but that's fine um because today is payday and we're gonna have a great day of eating fully on plan but with the good food because it's payday and we all want a treat on payday don't we so i'm off to tesco right now i'm doing work at seven o'clock so i have about half an hour that i can use in tesco so let's go God, Tesco is rammed with staff filling up the shelves, so that's been really uh, fun skirting around them. So Tesco, it's not helpful. Anyway, um, I'm nearly done. Just grabbing my cereal. This stuff is expensive, but it's so good. Um, my favourite one is this one. Okay. So I've done my shop, it's now 25 to 7, so I've done that in pretty good time, I think. Um, I think that's 25 minutes from leaving home to doing my hot shop playing and being back in the car. Um, I did try and film inside, but there are so many staff around, it's unbelievable, and they kept um, sneaking up on me, so I couldn't really talk, so it was really embarrassing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go home now, to count some stuff into my work bag, and then hurry into work. This is everything I've just bought. So it has occurred to me there is a lot of plastic in the basic stuff that you buy, um, but it's all not sold any other way. But anyway, that's not the point for today's video. So um, I've got for uh, breakfast some strawberries and blueberries. I have my plain with coconut yogurt, because that's my favorite. This is half a cent per 100 grams, so that's really nice. And then I'm gonna have some, my favorite cereal. And then um, this is for my um, like latte things that I make in work. So you can have 800 mils of this for your two healthy extra A's for the day. I'll probably be using all of mine on drinks today. Um, for lunch, um, I'm not, if I don't use this today, it'll be used over the weekend, so that's fine. But um, basically I've just got a load of salad stuff. These are new, juniper and black pepper beetroot. So normally I really like their sweet and fiery ones. So I thought I'd try this one and it had money off. So that's always good. And then for like the main bit, I found these sweet corn and quinoa bites. Now these are really tasty, I've had them before, but I checked on the app and I'm sure the sin value's changed and I'm, because I, I swear they used to be one sin each, but the app says this as of this morning that they are um, four sins for the whole pack. So I thought that's a really quite a good thing. That's a big pack as well. So that's good. And then I got some sprouts because that's um, they're quite expensive. So that's a nice treat. And then also my other treat is my pucker lattes. I love these. Um, and again, these were on offer, which was really nice because they're normally um, like five pounds for one of these bags, but they had 25% off today. So they were 375. So I thought, well, I'll just get two of them um because I, I go through it takes a long time to go through them for me anyway because i don't have them every day so um i thought i'll just grab those since they're on offer because i'll use them at some point so um yeah and they're super tasty so i do recommend um yeah and that's everything and then i've got um the greek style because uh i have an idea for this evening's tea that will probably involve that one um and oh by the way i mean these are in plastic but these are the best tomatoes ever piccolo and again they're on offer today a pound a pack so that's good and i need to get to work so after all that rushing around i'm actually in work early which is an added bonus um i have still had only water at this point today it's about 10 to 7 now um and I'll be having my first coffee in probably about an hour once I've got some work done. So I'll show you that. If you guys have watched my videos before, you'll know that I like to make a coconut latte in work, which is about 250 to 300 mils of coconut milk with a shot of espresso in it. And then as I've already discussed, this is my breakfast. So 200 grams of the Alpro plain with coconut yogurt with uh, 35 grams of um, the granola that I showed you and also fresh blueberries and strawberries um, this is actually a once in breakfast plus healthy extra bee choice around half 11 I had another latte at lunch I went to Tesco and found this new chocolate and then at lunchtime, I made this, uh, my salad, as I said I was going to. So some leaves, then my beetroot. I added some tomatoes on top, along with some sprouts. 
and cucumber. I also added my uh, quinoa and sweet corn bites and I used half the pack for two sins. I really do recommend these, they're so tasty. They've just got that little kick from the harissa. Also, I went into Holland and Barrett at lunchtime and found these Nush cheeses, which I really like the yogurts, but they do require a small mortgage to buy. So it was quite a nice surprise to find the cheeses at the same price, um, so about three pounds for one of these. However, these were going off, so the guy actually gave them to me for 75p each, which I was quite pleased about. Um, now, I have since tried the sweet chili one and it was tasty, but I do prefer the plain one. So for my lunch, I added just one third of the pot of the plain one, which I calculate at about five sins. And so this is what I had for lunch. That's my whole salad with plenty of protein and it works out as seven sins approximately. Sometimes in work, we like to cut up some fruit and share it. So today we had some mango. Hey guys, so um, I guess to you seconds have passed, but for me, hours have passed. Um, I had my snack of mango mid afternoon and then I got out of work at four. I went for a nice walk with my friend for an hour and her dog and talked to loads of other people with dogs. That was fun. And then I had to go up to um, our local shopping centre to go to the Apple store and get my phone repaired and I thought that was going to take an hour but it took nearly two hours so in the meantime I went and spent loads of money um, in the shops because I was like killing time um, and then I wanted to come to Sainsbury's on the way back to get my exciting thing that I'm going to have for tea tonight. I've just finished in Sainsbury's and you guys I think I actually lost my mind the vegan range has expanded like overnight. Like I don't come up here a lot, maybe every couple of weeks. Um, but usually I'm a, I go to Tesco cause it's a lot closer to my house, but their vegan range, I'll just show you now. So you can see the dilemma I was in because there was a lot of products there that I haven't tried before and if there's one thing that I like to do that is try new vegan products because I feel like it's really important that we should support um, companies bringing out vegan versions of their products and also like vegan companies as well or vegetarian companies. So um, basically I bought like a ton of stuff and I don't know if this is in any of it or very few bits. And I'm gonna have to like work out how I'm gonna eat all this over, um, well, it's like what I'm gonna be living on. I'm just gonna have to get vegetables to go with it. So I guess that was kind of my main shot, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I I can only put it down to tiredness because it's now 20 to nine at night. And I'm hungry and I'm so tired and my back hurts from carrying stuff, like really heavy stuff around um, the shopping center. And so, yeah. Um, I just need to get home now. So it's gonna take me about 15 minutes to get home and then I'm gonna make some tea and it's not gonna be as exciting as I was originally thinking of because I cannot be bothered. I just wanna make something and get it in my stomach. But we are having the exciting new component <laughs> that I was going to um, have anyway. I'm just not gonna quite do what I was thinking of with it. So I'm just gonna do a very basic tea, but I'll show you in a second. Right, I'm home. And I'm just gonna quickly show you what I bought and then I'm gonna make tea and show you what I do. Basically, this is all the new products I bought um, to try. This smoked tofu isn't new, but I always pick up a pack when I'm in there. So I'll just talk you through it. Now, please bear in mind that I haven't got the sins for this stuff yet. I will be working it out um, and going from there. So these deli slices, I really like the hickory smoked ones. So I thought I'll give the oven roasted ones a go. The hickory ones are really low sin, so I figure those will be as well. Um, cauldron smoked tofu. Uh, haven't tried that before. 
um, Tofu Co Oriental Tofu. They used to sell this cut up in boxes um, and now this is the first time I've seen a block so I'll give that another go because I wasn't that fond of it when they cut it up into teeny pieces because I like chunky tofu. I've already said about the smoked tofu. This is the product that I went in to get and bought all this. Um, the new veggie bacon pieces, which are fat free. Now these are being touted as sin free by everyone working out on the app. I will double, double check myself um, in a moment by working out on the app, on the Slowing World app. But they are fat free. A lot of the other Vivera products um, are very low in sin, like the, I think the shawarma kebab, which is a similar type of product base, I guess. Um, that's very low in sin. So um, because these are fat free, it doesn't seem unreasonable to me that they're free. So, but they're not on the app officially yet, so I'll just work those out in a tick. Then we've got the new cauldron tofu. I'm glad they had this. This is what I really wanted to try as well. So that's teriyaki. Um, I was a bit disappointed to see that it's just marinated with tamari soy sauce. I mean, I hope there's more than that. Otherwise, it's not really teriyaki. It's just a soy sauce tofu. So, I'm, yeah, we'll do that another day. Then we've got um, Sainsbury's own um katsu veg babs like kebabs but vegetables don't know how many sins they are like i said i worked them out but they're cauliflower mushrooms and lentils with curry spices they sound quite good they also have moroccan ones but they've got like dried apricots and stuff i'm not a massive fan i think they sounded too sweet for me so i didn't get those then we've got these tempeh pieces um these are curry flavored tempeh so not tried anything like this before the um only tempeh that i have previously liked that I've tried is the Tofurky brand um, like maple bacon tempeh pieces which are lush but cannot get them anywhere anymore I don't know where anywhere sells them um, so this this is going to be high in sins um, so I'll save it for a day when I've got some sins but these are the basically tofu nuggets by the Tofu Co so Let's have a look. So for half a pack, oh my goodness, 269. So if you base it on the 20 rule, then you're looking at 13 and a half sins for two. That seems a bit high because it is mostly tofu. So yeah, we'll look at that another day. Um, these Eden sausages, perfectly plant-based and they don't know where it gives the description. Um, I think I did look when I was in there and I couldn't work out what the hell they were gonna taste like. So they just got a load of stuff in. I don't really know what they're made of, but can't quite soy, I guess. So, yeah. And then um, finally, we've got these Heck sausages. I have heard rumors of Heck doing plant-based vegan sausages and those rumors are true. The Sainsbury's have all three flavors today, so. Firstly, we've got Sweet Fusion. And these, I'm quite excited about these. These are probably the ones I'm most excited about. Fragrant Thai pesto, sweet potato, and sticky rice. Do it with some stir fried veggies and fresh coriander. That sounds lush. So that is right up my street. Vegan breakfast, can't get wrong with a bit of vegan breakfast. Made from mushroom, carrot, and tomato with parsley and sage. Sounds good. And then these ones, which are, I think are the ones I'd seen a picture of somewhere which is super green sausages, um, quinoa and spinach with ginger, chili and a hint of mint. I'm a ginger fiend, I love ginger, um, I love mint as well. Actually, I love all of those ingredients, so um, yeah, can't get wrong there. I love the fact that these sausages are all bright green, I think that's brilliant. I love a green anything, really. So yeah, I've spent the equivalent of a small mortgage on um, vegan new products. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna have to work out how to use them all. So I'll have to work out the sins in them all and then sort them all by date and <laughs> go from there, I think. But tonight, what I was gonna do, um, so I'm gonna use a pack of these, or some of them, I don't know if I'll use a whole pack. We'll see how they go. Um, to be honest, I'm so hungry, I'm almost beyond the point of hunger now, but I know I'm, I know I am really hungry. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna use these and I was thinking of doing like I, well, I had a couple of options. I was going to do spaghetti or um, like dirty fries. But since it is now gone nine o'clock, 
um, I want something very, very quick. So originally, I mean, I was always gonna pretty much go with spaghetti because uh, I really fancied some spaghetti today. So um, I was thinking I was gonna do a carbonara and that's why I mentioned this morning that I was gonna use that Alpro Go On, or sorry, Greek style, they now call it yogurt. Um, cause I, I had an idea to sort of use that as like a, a base. I don't know. I've never made carbonara like meaty. I've never made a carbonara in my life. So I don't really know what it is. So, um, anyway, I'm not doing that. So I don't know why I'm talking about it. So I'll show you what I'm going to do in a tick. Okay. You probably can't even hear me over all this noise from this, um, like bacon stuff sizzling, but basically I'm just, um, frying it with some garlic. I've used uh, two teaspoons of oil um, to fry it in, because it did say use oil. And I'm just boiling my whole wheat spaghetti as well. I'm gonna cook this until it's nearly done. Then I'm gonna add asparagus and cherry tomatoes and mix it through that. That's literally it. I would have had spinach as well, only I forgot to buy spinach. So, go me. Right, this is the carnage. <laughs> But basically, this is my bowl of food, and it looks highly unattractive and unappetizing. Um, and also, there's loads, so I'm probably going to eat half of it. But basically, um, this is it. I sautéed the bacon, bacon, in um, two teaspoons of olive oil. So that's four sins. And then I added um, and garlic, and then I added the asparagus and the cherry tomatoes. Let them go for a couple more minutes. Then I drained the spaghetti, um, stirred it through, along with a tablespoon of sun-dried tomato paste, which is two and a half sins. So that makes it six and a half sins, um, which is fine. There's probably not quite a third speed in this bowl either as well, um, which, you know, it's Friday, treat day, whatever. So um, yeah, I think this is definitely a recipe I can do, but I need to just refine it a little bit. Um, but for something I've chucked together, uh, that's fine. As I said, I'm probably going to eat half of this because it's quite late now, like half past nine, and um, I need to go to bed soon, and I just need some food, but I feel like this is too much food. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go eat. Hey, so I'm now just watching a film. I've ate my dinner. I did eat it all, and I'm so full. That was stupid of me. <laughs> So um, I'm just having my cup of afternoon tea that I normally have. Um, if you watch my videos, you'll know that that's my uh, usual tipple <laughs> now that I don't drink alcohol anymore. Um, and then I'll probably have a cup of um, pucka nighttime tea after that as well. But that's it for me today. And um, I'm just gonna finish watching my film and then go to bed because I am shattered. I feel like I've been on the go all day. It is now um, half past 10 at night. So I'll probably be up for another hour and then go to bed. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching and um, sorry if this is a bit of a like frantic video. Um, I really do feel like I've been rushing around, but that may not have come through. So um, fingers crossed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you've had some um, nice food ideas, um, seen a few more vegan products out and about in the UK. And um, yeah, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more, hit the notification bell if you'd like to get notified when I release new videos. I am officially going for this once a week on a Sunday evening. I would love to have you with me. Um, please give me any feedback um, for any videos that you'd like to see, what's helpful, what's not helpful, etc. Or just talk to me about your journey, whether it's vegan or swimming world or neither. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye!